And we're live. Still cleaning your I'm glasses. I'm still cleaning my glasses. <laughs> we're almost ready. <laughs> almost ready. Okay. Welcome to uh, Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles, mm -hmm. specifically the Atari 2600, until I get some new mods. And today we're doing something a little different. We're doing a special show. Mm -hmm. And it's all hacks. Mm. And do you know what hacks are? Um, aren't they changing the original game? Yes. Yeah. So instead of making a new game from scratch, what some of these people have done is they like a game, but they want to change it a little bit. Either the graphics or levels or gameplay or whatever they want or the name of it or warp it into some other game mm -hmm. that maybe they maybe the original game wasn't quite true to the arcade game or maybe they wanted to even have more lives or change it into you know et instead of pac-man or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and i had put off I, I never thought i would actually do this episode mm -hmm. because i never thought there would be good enough hacks out there the only ones I'd really heard about are just graphic hacks, mm. which is like, okay, but it just looks different. It doesn't actually change anything about the game. The gameplay, yeah. The gameplay. But um, I talked to Arena Foot, mm -hmm. who's the keeper of the list <laughs> of the Atari 2600 homebrews and hacks list. Yes. And I said, are there any good hacks out there? Is yes. there enough good hacks that I can put together a show that... You know, they changed the game substantially enough that it'd be worth playing. Yeah. Other than it's like, oh, Pac-Man looks different. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. That's not well, interesting. Sometimes it's Sometimes, but, but it doesn't, it doesn't change a anything. super long, yeah. Like it you play it and yeah. it's like, okay, he just looks different, but it's exactly the same. Mm. And he was able to suggest a whole bunch of games. And I narrowed it down to four games, mm -hmm. including the one in this package that i ordered and that kind of prompted it as well um so the games we're going to play today are bouncer which is in here nice uh which is a hack of boing and this was done by scott dayton also known as neo tokyo 2001 mm -hmm. uh gauntlet 2600 um slash uh golden legends because they're renaming it but i'll get to that um is a hack of dark chambers which is somewhere up there. I've got the original Dark Dark Chambers on in the box. Um, done by Claudio uh, Salvucci, or also known as CDS Games. Um, River Raid Fantasy Mode, which is a hack of River Raid, except they've added added some stuff to it. Um, done by Kurt Howie, Howe, uh, also known as known as Nuki Shea. Mm -hmm. does a lot of hacks as well as scott dayton does a ton of hacks and the fourth one is wolfenstein vcs the next mission it's a hack adventure also done by scott dayton mm -hmm. and robert mundschau yeah so yeah he uh arena foot recommended all of these games so we're gonna do excellent a bunch of hacks which is a little bit different because normally we're just homebrew and uh if I get enough suggestions of other good hacks, we might be able to do a second show. Okay. So if anybody out there watching wants to message me on the Atari Age forums or any other, you know, uh, social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all of them, anywhere, you can just message me with any hacks that you think would be worthy enough to put on the show that are that do change the game, the way it's played, the way it looks, the way it sounds, you know, adds big options to it, anything like that. Um, I want to thank uh, a whole bunch of Twitch subscribers are, are starting to come on, and it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, who's in the chat right now, uh, Soundtrack78, <laughs> uh, Tiki Dank, and Ada Man. Ada Man? Ada Mahan. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and those last two are new subscribers. Awesome. So that is awesome. Yeah. And um, these are Twitch Prime subscribers, I believe. So if you're on I, Amazon... I don't know if you know that it, if they're Prime or not. I don't I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I but don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, so if you want to subscribe and you're like an Amazon Prime subscriber, mm -hmm. you can just click subscribe and it's free and it helps support the channel. Mm -hmm. So you lose nothing and... The channel gains everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows your support. And you get a little star beside your name. I don't know if everybody can see that. Somebody has a crown too. What is that? 
What is that crown Doing about? Tasty sandwich. Twitch Prime. Does that mean you are a subscriber or you just have Twitch Prime? Yeah. I don't We're know. We're still working all this out. So. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, beside Mr. Fix's name, it has a little star. So I know he is a subscriber. Yeah. And the people who are uh, chatting today, uh, Mr. Fix, Arena Foot, A Tasty Sandwich. Great name. Uh, with a one. Uh, Ice Bosta, uh, Jared Gray West... Um, there was a bunch of the top, uh, Atari Spots. Spot, um, Lord Monkus, wow. I think, Lots that's everybody who's talked. before we, uh, oh, in. Oh, there we go, Atari Spot just subscribed with Twitch Prime. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Follow his lead. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I want to thank all the hundreds of social media followers on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, mm -hmm. Instagram, everywhere. Um, it's been going really, really amazing yeah. uh, after the six months. And um, and I did hint last week, we'll get to this box in a second, <laughs> and another, <laughs> yeah, and another package too. Yep. And I did hint last week um, that there was a big announcement, and I did announce it on the social media a couple days ago, that we are going to be... Um, oh, hello, Tiki Dan, 1961. Um, speaking of, um, that we are going to have an exclusive preview of two new games by a very prominent Atari 2600 programmer mm -hmm. from back in the 80s. And I have talked to, uh, the person <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i am actually able to reveal that um zero page homebrew is going to have two exclusive previews of work in progress games by dan kitchen and um they are keystone capers 2 uh, which is going to be renamed and reworked and another one called bon voyage um which he describes as an activision style game where the player pilots the titanic from Southampton to the Americas, nice. which was a doomed ship. So <laughs> that's going to be very interesting. Now, is it your job to doom the ship? <laughs> or is it your job to somehow rescue people, get them under the lifeboats? Oh, that sounds interesting. That, it's Maybe got... you're, you're trying to steer it towards the uh, glaciers that keep floating away from you. <laughs> that's right. You're trying to hit, <laughs> hit them. And if you don't... Uh, no Dan Kitchen. Let me just uh, read off some of the games that he worked on for the 2600. Mm -hmm. And you'll definitely know uh, one of these at least. Or, or almost all of them actually. And he actually has a connection to the one of the, one of the games tonight. Um, so he did Crackpots, Ghostbusters. These are all for 2600. Uh, Kung Fu Master, which is an excellent conversion um, from the arcade. It's an amazing conversion. F-14 Tomcat, Crossbow, River Raid 2, Double Dragon, a, and Akari Warriors um, from 1983 to 1989, the releases. And, of course, he has a very famous brother as well, Gary Kitchen, uh, who did um, Space Jockey for the 2600, Donkey Kong for the 2600, obviously a huge release, um, Keystone Capers, and uh, Pressure Cooker for the 2600, another big one. And so, um, what prompted all of this was um, Dan Kitchen found a prototype that he was working on back in the 80s mm -hmm. for a sequel to his brother's game, Keystone Capers, named Keystone Capers 2. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Fluffy cat. Yeah. Um, Atari says hello, by the way. Oh, hi. Come here. Come and here. It, it, is, it was set aboard a train, and you had to collect all the train parts and fix up the train while it's moving or something yeah, it's atari the kitten yes <laughs> not atari the video game yeah. system <laughs> um so it's going to be completely reworked um with a brand new title so it's not going to be keystone capers 2 because that's activision's property and he's going to change the little guy mm -hmm. um to something else not the little keystone cop um, with the hat and the billy club. He'll mm -hmm. have to look like something else. Um, probably through Atari age, he said. Um, so the prototype was created in 1983. 
So it's going to be 35 years later. It's wow. probably the longest development time yeah, of any video be, game. That's pretty long. <laughs> so I think you're going to set a record, Dan. Yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> um, the original name was going to be Keystone Cannonball, which is going to be renamed because um, you can't. You probably won't use Keystone. It'll probably be something else. Mm -hmm. But um, and it'll be written from scratch, right from nothing, um, because it's it's better to do that if you're going to be kind of continuing a game that was made under somebody else's license. Uh, not starring Keystone Kelly. Um, there's no online binary for the original prototype because there is a video out there if you wanted to take a look at it. We did show that on a previous show. Um, and he said perhaps a dump of the ROM image after the new game's officially released. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I hope he does. He is keeping the runaway train. Um, actually, there and there's some details that he was releasing online through Facebook. Um, it is going to be d d d a uh, an engine at the beginning, a very large caboose at the end. Uh, it's still going to be a train. It's going to be a side view game with different railroad cars. And it is going to be a runaway circus train. So oh, there's cool. going to be a bunch of animals. Nice, nice. Um, and the one he did mention is yeah. giraffes. Nice. And they're going to be poking their head up out of the nice. all, out of the box car. Nice. So you're going to have to avoid the, the heads like of that. animals and stuff like that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to uh, locate a bunch of uh, engine parts that have been scattered. Uh, oh, just going to make sure everything. The audio is good, which it is. Uh, a bunch of engine parts that have been scattered uh, around the train cars and make their way to the locomotive to stop the train before the time runs out. So that's what it is. And he says he'll be posting some screenshots of the new version in the coming week. Nice. Um, so that is the big, huge announcement. Two announcement nice. is two new homebrew games from Dan Kitchen, a classic um, Atari 2600 programmer from the 80s who did excellent excellent games and um so we're looking forward to that and looking forward to having them on the show exclusive previews <laughs> of these games um so but i'll keep you up to date on uh when we'll be airing those and dan is in the chat right now awesome. which is awesome thanks mm -hmm. for joining us and um so you can uh, people are asking questions and stuff <laughs> another brother steve kitchen did space shuttle oh my god it's a lot of brothers, mm -hmm. a lot of kitchen brothers. <laughs> I'll avoid making the reference of cooks in the kitchen, mm -hmm. <laughs> which doesn't even work. Kitchens in the cook, I don't know. But we're going to do, um, we're going to open some packages now. Are you going to help open them, Atari? I think Atari's very excited. So we're going to open this one Probably first. Probably more for the packaging than the games, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is completely unrelated to homebrew. But I thought I'd open it on the show because it is video game related. Okay. And it is a Galaga. Oh, hide the face. There we go. So it's a Galaga uh, arcade. There we go. Galaga mini arcade game. And I saw a preview of this and it looked pretty good. Now, mm. this is, as you can it's tell, a, it's a modern game, obviously. Well, yeah, this package. Uh, yeah, 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 it's a yeah. brand new thing that's yeah, in the stores. It's, it's not. It's not original too. Yeah. No, no, they never made um, a tabletop of Galaga because oh, really? it's way too complex ah. to do that. The, the most like because the th the ships way, move way too much. Mm. So it's pretty much an emulator of the arcade in a box, um, cool. and you can tell, I oh. love Galaga a <laughs> lot. I'm not an expert at it. I'm not even like really good at it. I just love playing it. And there's the artwork for the 7800 version of Galaga signed by uh, Mark who did the artwork because mm -hmm. um, I got and that we, signed by him in yeah, 2013. In Portland. Yeah. Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I think it was the first one we went to. Yeah it might have been. Yeah. This is 2000. So 2013 on there. Yeah. Might have been the late, a year after but. Yeah. Um, That's very cool. So let's get to the hacks, finally, huh? <laughs> it's like, where's the hacks? What are you guys doing? I tuned in for hacks, not Galaga. So this is from Scott Dayton. I saw a bunch of people posting um, that they got it, mm. but they were all in the US and we're in Canada. 
So it takes a couple extra days to go across the border. Slash weeks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Slash weeks. <laughs> this one wasn't too bad. It was yeah. a couple days it's usually not after bad. people were yeah. posting it. Yeah. Um, so this is Bouncer um, by Scott Dayton. And mm. actually on the, on the, oh, did I rip it? Oh no, I already ripped it. Because it had a really funny description of everything in the box. Oh really? In the yeah, box. I gotta off. get this. <laughs> Because it was really funny because I was trying to tear off my address, but everything came off with it. Oh no. There's all the pieces. Oh no, it's gone. I'm pretty sure oh. you might have stuck it on the cat, actually. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that it? Nope. It's gone. Oh, that's too bad. Do you want me to look? It would be in these pieces. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's... Is the barcode? Oh, there they are. No, I got it. It is on here. It's yeah. just above. So when you send things internationally, you have to describe what's in the packaging. Oh, yeah. Um, and he did a very detailed uh, version of what's what's in here. Yeah. Atari 2600 video game cartridge. That's fine. Instruction book. Fine. Stickers. Fine. Frog stress ball. <laughs> and a smiling stress ball. Nice. Very specific. Not two stress balls. But uh, frog and smiling. So let's open it up. And we've got very nicely packaged so nothing rolls around. Nice. We've got the smiley stress ball there. So when games get really tough. I might need that. Yeah, there you go. Right, so you can you. have that one. Oh. And a frog stress ball. One for each hand. Oh, little he upset is frog. so cute. Can I take him out? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he, he deserves to be out, I think. He is super cute. Okay, Look I like that. this guy. This guy is super, super cute. Oh, hide your face. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Grump Frog, Arena Foot says. Yeah. Oh, he oh, is that's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> I want him at work at my, in my cubicle. Oh. And so that guy made it to the cover or the, um, the cartridge. Oh, wow, look at that. It's in a hard case. Oh, this is real. How did he get this in here? <laughs> oh, stretched it over. Nice. So Grump Frog, Grump. as he is now known, Grump Frog. Uh, made it to the front cover, hide your face, <laughs> of the cartridge there, of the bouncer cartridge. Nice. Very, very cute. Nice. And both of them made it. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that is so cute. I really like that. And the instruction manual and yeah. some stickers, which are some grump frog on one side and a smiley face. And apparently I am cartridge number 25. Nice. Because each of them is, oh, it's not numbered on the cart. So okay. So it's just the, oh. It's just a little sticker. Okay. Very cool. Yes. And that is the first game we'll be playing. Okay. So keep those guys out. Is they're going to help us play. I don't know if that's going to stay there. Mm, we'll don't see. Don't move. The card is numbered. Manual, numbered card, stickers. Yeah, Here. it is a tight fit. You can put them on the... On there. He'll show up there. You can take this down now. Um, let's see. Anything else? Open the box. No, it's on to the games. So let's pop in the cartridge. Oh, where'd the cartridge go? You have it? Thank you. So let's open up the cartridge. Excellent. Never seen uh, packages like this. This is very specific. It's very good. You could use yeah. a few of those, I think. Um, possibly. I don't have too many really expensive loose cartridges for 2600 But But you do have a lot of loose cartridges. <laughs> I do, but I wouldn't want to buy... A cartridge holder for each one. That would get very expensive. Oh. Ah, ah. Mm. Mm, okay. Are we up and going? Almost. Oh. Oh. Music started. Oh, it's not music. It's jumping. Let me turn that down. So, this is, I guess, a little bit like Frogger. Frogger or Cubert? A Q-Bert. little bit like Cubert. Yeah, it definitely has a Cubert feel to it. Let me turn that down. It's probably pretty loud. This is a loud one. Are you spilling? No. No, it's just sticking to oh, okay. <laughs> Mario pipe. So. Coaster. 
Oh, I didn't load on the... I didn't load on the multi-cart the original game that this was a hack of. But it's pretty close. The graphics are, the, are just changed a little bit. Um, because in the original one, the background was... For some reason, all the games in the 80s, they wanted to make the backgrounds really colorful. Like, there was a mandate to make every game as colorful as possible. Mm. So very few games had a black background. Mm. They're always blue or red or some crazy color. But, of course, most of them look better in black. So there's been a lot of hacks to change mm. over the color, the colors to be black. Yeah. So, there you go. Ooh, okay. Am I the happy face or you am I the grumpy are, face? I think the happy face. Yep. There you go. Now I will... Ground Trooper says a really update, up, awesome update to Boeing. Yes. Ah! And actually the original <laughs> cartridge of Boeing is very expensive. This is a sought after... The, ga the original game is very sought after. I think it's like about $200 to buy the original game, so... Oh, did you do it? Yep, made it to the second level. Okay, Bouncer. Very thick paper. Mr. Smiley just moved to the frog pond and wants to liven up the pla liven the place up with some color. Not, <laughs> not everybody's so happy about that. Hop about the lily pads, but watch out for the wasp and grump frog. Oh, his name is actually grump frog. Grump, not grumpy. Uh, brings Boing up, Boing up to date with improved graphics, <laughs> new music, and tricky invisible levels. There you go. Oh. Uh, you hop Mr. Smiley around a frog pond, which has 36 lily pads. Six rows of six. Mr. Smiley must land on each lily pad and change its color, sometimes in a particular order. Really? Hmm. Just like Hubert. Um, I think this is somebody's answer to Cubert, Boing, originally. Which makes a little bit more sense, because Cubert was on a 45 degree angle. Oh, what? How did you do that? I didn't. I, uh, the frog ended up, ah, ha, 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 oh, in invisible. the way. One thing that's different than Cubert oh, here <laughs> is that you can't die from, like, jumping off the screen. Oh, thank goodness. I did that that's... so much when I played... That was one of my biggest frustrations oh, yeah. with Hubert, which I'm sure it was for many others as well. Yeah. Uh, don't stop between levels, Tanya, Arena Foot says. Don't stop? Oh. Did you die? I think so. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, you play again. I'll keep uh, reading out. Uh, Grump Frog always starts in the lower right corner. Waits a couple seconds and then tries to catch you, Mr. Smiley. If he lands on top of you or you land on top of him, you lose a chance. A chance, A chance. Eh? Uh, the wasp starts out at the top, so that um, stick is a wasp. <laughs> Randomly choosing one of the six columns. Avoid the wasp and its sting. I guess the long thing is the stinger. Um, oh. You'll always also cost you a chance. You can temporarily zap Grump Frog by luring him under the oncoming wasp. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, Grump Frog will be stunned and start glowing. After a few seconds, the Grump Frog recovers and continues the chase. Make good use of this time. The glowing time when you are safe decreases... Glowing time. I don't see any glowing time. No, he glows for a little bit. Who, you do? No, or the frog? the frog glows oh. before he comes back to life. Oh, okay. Yeah. The glowing time when you're safe decreases as the waves advance. Uh, okay, so the amount of time he gets stunned for gets cut down quite a bit. Uh, you can change the color of the lily pads while Grump Frog is out of commission. When Grump Frog is stunned and glowing, Mr. Smiley can jump on him without danger. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> yes. Uh, you start the game with five chances three of which are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Oh, so it only goes up to three at the bottom, because the Atari is very good at displaying three things, but not more. So it can um, duplicate and tri triple, um, but not do four or five. Every time you are touched, you lose a chance. I love that wording, chance. It's not a life. Nobody's, di ah! Nobody's dying here. It's just a chance. Um, for every 10,000 points, 
uh, you score, you're awarded a bonus chance. If you're touched well on the lower right hand lily pad, you will automatically be moved one step to the left to be avoid being hit repeatedly. Okay. So, if you're touched, if you're touched on the lower right hand lily pad, does the frog ever start out every time in the lower half? It looks like it when does. When you die? I guess that makes sense. Okay. Upon losing a chance, uh, the game will end, thus activating the demo mode. Your score will remain at the top of the screen. Ooh. So Arena Foot's keeping track of your top score. 2240. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he's uh, he's uh, uh, made himself the scorekeeper. Thank of, you, Arena of Foot. The, uh, <laughs> of the channel. It's very, very handy, actually. Especially when go doing the high score um, rounds in the mm. tournaments. Because then I can just... Yeah scroll through and look for one of my top scores to submit super handy okay scoring there are four ways to score points you score points every time you change a color of a lily pad obviously in level four five and six where a lily pad will revert back to the original color if touched again oh no you score points That's... every time you change it from its original color so eventually the uh that was close you have to be careful around the top row that you're yeah, not around there when probably, the stinger is there. Probably the... Yeah, stay out of the top row. Oh, oh right for you. I am kind of running all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to just... Uh, you receive 300 points the first time Gr Grump Frog is stunned in each wave. That's a decent amount of points. Oh. Um, hundreds of points are awarded for each wave you finish. The amount of points depends on the wave and the level number you have completed. Level number you've completed. Isn't the wave the level number? That's weird. Um, in addition, when you complete a level, you also score additional points. What? That's kind of redundant. Um, anyway, uh, Bouncer is you. Uh, the Wasp is the Stinger thing. Grump Frog. Uh, so, game program by Scott Dayton, artwork by Scott Dayton, cartridges spelled wrong, services provided by Repentless Video Games, produced and released by Neo Games Scott Dayton. Neo Games, Neo Games Limited Edition, manual program and audiovisual 2018, Neo Games Scott Dayton. So, this is the first uh, uh, hack game I've ever purchased. Okay. All the rest are, are homebrew from scratch. Nice. So this marks something different. It is pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. Third, 3190, level 3. Yes. I find actually the um, stinger is pretty easy to avoid. Yeah. Yeah. It's always the frog. The frog um, sometimes gets in your way when it comes to um, him hovering around sometimes the spots that you've left to get, if that makes sense. What killed me? What just killed me? Nothing killed me. I, I don't know. <laughs> the stinger wasn't there. However, the frog was on the bottom of the screen. I have jumped on uh, squares where the stinger just was. Yeah. And I think if you're not timed uh, with the down of the stinger, you actually can go right through it. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's it's a bit unusual. of leeway with the stinger? A, a little bit, yeah. Missed a couple up there. Oh, yeah. You're doing it much faster than I was. I like grumpy frog. Or grump frog. Grump frog. Grump frog. Yeah. What 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 just killed me? What what was that? What was that? I don't know. Like seriously, there was nothing there. And and Grump Grump Frog just got oh. killed by something too. There's an there's an invisible stinger on the board somehow. Can anybody? The wasp killed me. He wasn't. Does he reappear at the top of the screen if he kills me immediately? Is that the thing? Oh, level two. Oh, so there's different. Yeah, you have to do the bottom row first. Oh, okay. So you made it up to here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then it's... Oh, okay, that makes it a little easier. Good job. Yeah, I was pushing my luck there. Yeah, you see how you can kind of yeah, jump around? Yeah, I, I went through them this, there. The, 
you're almost better off not worrying about it, if, if that makes any sense. The wasp, can you read that? The wasp appears, the wasp is killing you on the top row, the wasp appears at the top once he runs off the bottom, so that's what... Why oh. they say to watch yourself in the top row. But, I mean, you see the stinger in a completely different row, and I think that's why it's a little strange, but... Oh! It goes to demo end. mode. Oh, okay. Yeah. 57 10. Good job. Not too bad. Yeah. I was I was playing it fast and loose though. Well, it's 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 kind of I think it's more fun to play it fast and loose. I supposed to says wonders why the play field needs to flicker that much. It is that, flickering a little bit. That is a mystery. There is no need at all for it to flicker. If I'm if I'm I'm guessing correctly, it's it's drawn by the play field. And there's nothing else on the screen. Like there's no need for it to flicker ever. Because there's nothing interfering. There's there's you, which is one sprite. There's the frog, which is another sprite. And everything's flickering. I can possibly see why it's flickering the frog in you for a translucent effect because you can see through the, you can see through yourself and the frog if you notice and the sprites are given oh you just made that <laughs> and the sprites are given priority because you can see through yourself to the play field um yeah everything is flickering Every, absolutely everything except for the score at the top and bouncer um, and there's no need at all for any of it Ooh, to flicker that was lucky. Oh. well it depends how probably the bottom of each of the... Oh. Get out of there. Why do you keep hopping into him? I'm not hopping into him. <laughs> I was pushing to the other side. Oh, oh no, it's in demo mode. That's oh, right. okay. I was like, why are you I, doing But that? it looks like I had two lives left. It did. That was a bit strange. Remnant of the original Boing program, I guess, where the background was colored. Um, but if you look, the landing pads are the play field, for sure. The bottom of the landing pads. Mm because they're staggered. They're offset. Four, 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 four. Oh. Or eight, 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 eight. Um, but above them, I think those are drawn with something else. I think those might be drawn with sprites because there's six of them and it's repeating. No, it's not the capture. No, it's not. <laughs> no. It's flickery. Yeah, it is fairly flickery on the screen. I'm gonna try a little, be a little bit more cautious this time. Sometimes it's well. I find the stinger is is generally easy to avoid. But yeah, that one I saw yeah. that I died because yeah. I ran into it. Yeah. I like frog. Oh, oh, that wasn't the last one. Frog is super cute graphics. Yeah. Yeah. No. Now like why it. did he get squished there? Like, I narrowly avoided the spike, but yet the f grump frog got squished. By is the spike? A, yeah. Well, I think is it depends. Is there a programming error where somehow if I'm near the spike, it'll get confused and get the frog? I do See, like... See, that one actually hit the Yeah, frog, for sure, for sure. sure. I do like the Always animation of the bouncer. Yes. The face moving as you're jumping along. Yeah, that works really well. It's a nice well. touch. It gives him a little bit of animation. And there is something... I, I know you're saying about the flickering. Yeah, it's not terrible. It does give it a dynamic feeling, but I don't know you know, if that's an, an intentional thing or... Oops. You started over? I died. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what my score was, but it, it wasn't as good as last time. The wasp can kill the frog, yeah, but I've seen, unless I'm missing something and it just killed the frog and then reappeared at the top instantly, because that's maybe what I'm seeing 
is that I'm noticing the frog gets hurt, and then the stinger immediately appears at the top. I think that might be it. I'm going to watch it you play and watch how the frog gets squished. Because that's what I was thinking with me, too. I was like, oh, how did I die? But no, it was the stinger getting me and then reappearing instantly at the top. Ah! Yeah, see, it instantly appears. It, it instantly reappears. See, it's confusing. So yeah. it would have been better programming by the original programmer to have a short period of time where the stinger stops before reappearing because it seems so confusing. I feel, I feel like I'm not controlling this joystick <laughs> very boing, well. Boing, 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 no, boing, he's kind of going all over the place. It's not the best. That's not the best joystick for precision games like this. It's 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 uh it's 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 it being a bit weird for me right now. For non-precision games, that's best like for flying and moving where you have freedom of movement. But for precision games, uh, arcade joysticks are better, but unfortunately mine is out of commission right now. Oh, let me read about this game, because I have some more information about it. I feel like I, I am not... Um, so this was offered on um, the Facebook, Atari 2600 Homebrew uh, Facebook group by Scott Dayton. I uh, went on sale... Uh, I jumped into it! July. I don't know how I managed that, sorry. <laughs> It was the st sorry the st stinger was going down the road oh. and I jumped into this. Go for it again. I have sorry. to read some stuff. I, I apologize. That's okay. <laughs> um, it went on sale July 29th in the Facebook group Atari 2600 Homebrew. Now I'm not sure if there are any left. Uh, maybe Arena Foot can confirm on that or not. If there are any left, I don't know if it was a limited edition or is a more unlimited run of them. Um, it was $30 US plus $5 shipping uh, to the US. A little bit more um, to Canada. I think it might have been 10 Things are always more expensive. Um, eh, yeah, and it includes the bouncer cartridge, the manual, it's Mr. Smiley sticker and toy, Grump Frog sticker and toy, numbered limited edition, edition card. So there might be a limited edition version and an unlimited version. So I'm not sure. Oh, no, there was only 30 made. Sold out, Arena Foot says. So, um, for those of you watching, um, you're out of luck, I guess. I, d I don't know if he'll release the ROM of this or he'll make an unlimited edition with a different um, cover or not. I'm not sure on... Maybe Arena Foot can fill in how um, Scott Dayton normally works with his homebrews. Is he like one and done kind of um, programmer? Where he like just makes it and he's done and then he moves on to the next thing. He says, Eric got the last one, number 30, off of eBay. So, yeah, yeah, he auctioned the last one off, off on eBay. I guess that's another thing he normally does as well. Just tested Boing in Stella. Don't see the flicker here, so there goes my theory. Um, make sure in Stella to check whether you have um, the phosphor on or not because it might be the phosphor might up be on by default and it shows less of the flicker he moves on to the next title okay so he's just done he just finishes and makes what he makes and well, that's kind of that's kind of cool you know but you have to be on it then if you want games from him it flickers on my 7800 s video modded yeah. Danger Will Robinson, the publisher of the original title, is still in business. Oh, are you done? Yeah. Oh, it's showing a preview of level three. Okay, I'm going to give this one more shot, and then we'll move on. I'm enjoying this game. Yeah? Yeah, Do you want to play again after me, then? Uh, no, no, it's okay. No, you're good. We, I know we have, we have a few games to play, so... But uh, that it's stinger a lot of fun. seems to appear where you are at the top. Do you notice that? Like if you're along the t uh, top, it'll be near it, or is it totally random? I think it's random because you know it's it's sometimes it does appear where you are, but I I think it is random. No, it is. He just he didn't appear where I was there. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like it's appearing <laughs> where you are. Oh, you can hop right through it. I guess if you he's can. on, you the have spot. to be landing. I think at the same time on the yes. spot. Or you have to jump on it on the spot, so... Oh, stunned again. Oh, oh terrible. Gotcha. Terrible early he death. gotcha. Oh, now he's moving. 
Like these invisible ones aren't really a challenge because <laughs> you know where they are. You know well, and you can't fall off the from. edge, which again no. was my my all my um, big frustration with Cubert. That was, would have been was I was just terrible with the diagonal diagonal jumping, and I'd always fall off the edge. Well, because the home versions they didn't have diagonal joysticks, right? In the arcade, it was a little bit easier because the joystick could yeah. only move diagonal. Well, and I, I'm sure I had some sort of Cubert equivalent on the um, Commodore 64 back in the day. Oh yeah, there with was those, that big red joystick. Yes. And I found that that was frustrating. That one was hard to get it to go on the diagonal. So. You can go through the frog when he's glowing, dead. Yes, that's yes. your opportunity to hit hit it when when uh, he's possibly to get sitting through. or or hanging out on a. Oh, Ooh, you're doing well. Well, it's only because the stinger's like destroying Mr. Frog there. Good job. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh you I knew gotcha. it. Come on, frog, get out of the way. There's no time limit. I shouldn't be like panicking all the time. It yeah, just but seems like a panicky game, doesn't it? It just, but it just seems like the kind of game that you don't waste time. You want to get it. You want to get it done. That's true. <laughs> you like get on, move on to the next level. I think it's his bounce rate because he bounces quite, quite rapidly. Very fast. And so you feel like you need to be just like flying across the screen. Because you can. Because you can, exactly, yeah. Oh. It's cornered. Stinger was coming for me. Oh, can I gate make it? Oh, just mm. perfect timing. This is an invisible. And Rose. Oh, that frog. Get up. Oh. Oh, the shouldn't sting I shouldn't stay near the top. It's too dangerous. You just get really lucky. Yes. Yeah, the top row is definitely. Oh, I don't know how you did that. Uh, very... <laughs> I knew it was the last square, so I took a chance. Yeah. You now just... the frog is like motoring. Yeah, he's front. He's he's flying around there. Oh. Oh, oh you got an extra life? Nope. No. Uh, seven thousand three hundred eighty-five. That was good. That was a good round. I'll retire on that one. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm good. I'm good too. Let's try the next one. Okay, let me prepare the graphic for the next one. Uh, one, two, there we go. So the next one is called Golden Legends. But it's not actually called Golden Legends yet. Yes. Um, it has been renamed in name to Golden Legends, okay. but the ROM still says Gauntlet. Ah. Um, and obviously you can't use the name Gauntlet. I don't know why they ever start out. Mm. There's so many homebrews <laughs> mm. or hacks that start using the original name of the game. I guess it's to get attention, right? To yeah, the, that's it's true. Like, oh, I mean, making, it draws attention to I'm what making the game Gauntlet, is. Yeah. and then later they change the name, right? Um, but obviously you can't use Gauntlet. Yeah. <laughs> um, because you're going to get in trouble because they're still making Gauntlet games. Um, and they still like that name. So... Um, it will say Gauntlet 2600. Um, so let's switch over. A little bit quieter. No, seemingly no standard for volumes on Atari games. Oh, that stopped. Let me see if I can reset. Oh, you get to hear the music. Um, I did test this. And there's a bit of a problem with this game. Okay. Between levels and when you start the game, um, it will blank out for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Well, you just saw it. It was like 10 seconds. Oh. So if there's any enemies around, you're going to be in trouble. So let me just start that again, because I don't know if people saw the, uh, the title screen. Yeah, very good music. Oh, it's super quiet again. Oh, it's increasing. Oh, it's so quiet. Super quiet. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, 
turn it up a bit. So have you played the original arcade gauntlets <sighs> or any of its iterations? I'm pretty sure I have in some iteration. I, I don't think I played it very much. Yeah. But I do remember the game, so. Um, kill everything. <laughs> yeah, and they come out of little portals and things. Little portals. Yeah, I remember that. And then you, it's sort of a, oh my gosh, this cat. Uh fluffing everything up uh and it's sort of a maze game right you have to try and find the the all the doors into and out of the rooms yeah you have to find the exit yeah there's keys to get to yes. open doors yeah, yeah yeah there's potions uh mm -hmm. arena foot that's not that's not the harmony cartridge it's the number of lines and it's not stable between the this you have to have 262 lines or a stable number of lines or else real equipment starts flipping things out it goes crazy especially with capture cards and anything that's sensitive you can't start uh jumping the number of lines so the programmer just needs to watch his lines so if you throw this into um like a uh, stella and turn do alt l and look at the line number count mm. if it's not stable on whatever number you choose on pal or ntsc if that number which is normally 262 for ntsc if it starts jumping all over the place, you're going to either get screen jitter, which is minor difference, mm -hmm. differences We've in numbers. We've seen that in some games. Yeah, yeah, like jumping up and down. If you throw it way out of whack and like throw it up to like 300 lines and then down to 250 lines or something, it's going to blank your screen output. Mm -hmm. It's going to go, oh, I've lost signal because it, it it's, it's essentially has lost, lost signal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a signal lost to real equipment. And that's what this game is doing, unfortunately. Oh, in between... In between scenes, scenes, but not during the game. So the game plays fine. Okay. Just as long as it doesn't throw you into death. I think in Gauntlet, you're pretty safe when you start a level every time. So I think we're going to be okay, okay. playing it. Um, should, I, should I show the original game of this first? Sure, if you have it. Yeah, I do. And this so, is an Atari 2600 version? Um... This yeah. is Gauntlet for the Atari 2600. Yes. And, and it's actually adapted from a game that went on to become Gauntlet. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is the first iteration of Gauntlet, which was called Dark Chambers. Gotcha. Um, there's a two-player option on Gauntlet 2600. Oh. Interesting. Let's do that. Okay. Mm. So this is the original game, Dark Chambers. Mm. Very nice title screen, actually. Entering level nice. D. Why does it start with D? Uh, dungeon. So. Very nice little animation on the on the enemy there mm. with the with the robe moving. So it does a very strange way of doing enemies in this game. Um. When you shoot an enemy, it kind of devolves into a lesser enemy. I'm like not doing well. Let me get a better example. And the death animation's really good too. So here's a like a ghosty thing. Which goes to a skeleton. Which goes to like a, a guy. <laughs> so it kind of represents how hard the character is left to kill. Strange way of doing it, right? Yeah, that is a strange. I've never seen it on any I mean, it's game. neat. It is, it is kind of neat to see um, the figure changing and flipping as you're hitting it. Yeah, but super weird. But but you can see uh, kind of the evolution of mm. how Gauntlet came out. with the generators, and then you pick up something after you kill the generator. Gotcha. There we go. And that was a potion. There's potions in this game, too. Oh, you drank a potion? Um, yeah. Or you cast a spell with the potion. Oh. It's, I think it's double tap or holding it down. But anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> so we'll plug in the I'm other controller. That okay. Actually. See if we can get the two-player going. Yes, there's no Atari box for any of these games. So hold down the B button. Okay, good. Go down to today's date. I'll let you just play one player for a bit first while I read out is some it, info. Which one is it? Uh, Gauntlet 2600. And I did download the two-button hack. Top one. 
No, not the top, top one. That's a menu. Go down. Yeah. Press it. Down. Press it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I did download the hack done by New Key Shea for the two button Sega Genesis version, but it doesn't seem to work. Or maybe I didn't have the right thing. Mm. Anyway. Okay. I suppose the useless fact time. Bouncers platforms are missile zero and missile one. Oh, that's why it's so flickery. Yeah, because they're offset, you wouldn't be able to use the play field for them because they're at an angle. Platform colors. Oh, the platforms The platforms are missile zero, missile one. Why? Uh, the platform colors are player zero and player one. Oh, which are also needed for the player and the frog. Stinger is the ball. Okay, strange choices indeed. Yeah, it is very strange choices. This is just a one button game, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, it says it's been altered for two, but... Um, to op I found... I played this a tiny bit, and to open those doors... Oh. It's very tricky positioning. So you, you have, have to, to be, be, like, at the top of it, almost. There. Oh, I see. Oh, because it's kind of a three-quarter view, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what the excuse is, but you have to be near the top. And that's, and that's food. Um... So this was done by CDS Games. That's his name on the Atari Age forums. Uh, the project began as an effort to modify dark chambers for the Atari 2600 in the direction of the arcade game Gauntlet um, from 1985. What started as a few graphics changes and minor modifications to gameplay slowly evolved into full 32K conversion. Yeah, it's going to blank out. Thanks to good disassembly and especially Adam Clayton's phenomenal Dark Chambers engine for the VCS. The game is now complete with the following features. Play all four characters from the arcade in one player game or two player combination. That's cool. Two players. Each character starts with a special ability. Warrior, extra shot power. Valkyrie, extra armor. Wizard, extra magic power. So you have a, a potion right now. So how do I use it? I think it's... Now, don't use it right now. Because it will... You used it. Did uh, I? Yep. So oh, whatever you I pressed. I held it, I guess. Yeah, so don't hold it. Just tap. Yeah, double tap wouldn't be good because you're firing all the time. So it would be a holding the button. That's treasure. Yeah, treasure. Uh, elf extra shot speed. Um, fight three levels of ghosts, grunts, demons, and sorcerers. Two levels of generators and bones and death. Collect food, treasure, keys, and magic potions. Increase your ability with four different upgrade potions, as well as invisible invisibility amulets. Oh, cool. Play 80 unique levels. Why does it say three levels of ghosts and then 80? Play 80 unique levels, including the first seven modeled into the arcade intro levels. Oh, so he actually modeled the first um, seven levels after the arcade. Um, yeah, arena foot. Move little up on the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, I re the original post says, I recently introduced my kids to Gauntlet, and they got me thinking about hacking dark chambers so they could play on my VCS. So here's a start on conversions. And there's a huge story. Um, okay, here's the final version. So this was December 31st, 2015. Um... Here's the final version. Uh, no big changes to gameplay, just cleaned up a bunch of outstanding issues. Bank switching glitch corrected, keys display fixed, finishing correcting correcting top passageway issue. I don't know if he fixed that. Fixed shooting death bug, minor graphics, and changes to potions. Okay, we'll play two player. <laughs> I've updated the original post, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thanks to everyone who provided coding or play testing. Okay, let's try and get two people. Mm. There we go. Hmm? We didn't get to pick the characters. Oh, you picked for me. No. No, you have to move left and right, up and down. Okay, so don't press the button. Oh. No, didn't, didn't turn on. Oh, well. We'll play with these characters then. <laughs> it doesn't reset to the menu, it just resets to the game. You see it for a second. And it goes away. And then it disappears, yeah. I have the first seven rooms pictured in volume two compared to the original arcade rooms. Cool. Oh, that's a cool way of doing it. Good job, Arena Foot. Okay, we have to wait for it to figure itself out. It takes a second. <laughs> yep. Tick Although it wasn't blue before. So I wonder if you, you're hitting the reset kind of messed it up. 
Maybe. Yeah. It's its interpretation of losing signal. Or is it like... Oh. No, it actually... Oh, the dead dead. Yeah. Maybe the reset no. did mess no. it up. No, uh, should I hold down the B? No. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. it messed it up. Hold down B. Let me see. Left and right to choose player one. How do you choose player two? You cycle through? Oh, weird. Like, up and down doesn't do anything. Left and right changes the first person but if you go all the way to the left, it makes the second person the Valkyrie? Oh well. Okay, you can pick whichever. I don't know what's you want. What, what, what's what. That's a fighter. That's a Valkyrie. That's a wizard. That's the elf. Elf. I want to be a wizard. Okay. So I'll be the fighter, which is good for me. We'll see if it works. Oh, it's black. Is that better? Yeah, that's what I did last <laughs> time. It was it held the black for a little bit and then it came back up. Here we go. Maybe, maybe. Now it's blue. I think maybe only one player works. Hmm. Not good. Give it a couple seconds and see. Yeah. I know it was turning blue on on your on the the stream, but uh. use the game select switch to toggle through the player one characters mm. and player two characters to find the right combination. Mm hmm. That's a strange way to do it. Why didn't they just use the second controller so you could pick player two's character? Or I don't know. up and down, which does nothing on the first one, to go to this, use the second player. Although it does anyway. appear at the moment, it's not working at all. So <laughs> no, <laughs> that's unfortunate. See, when you press reset, it shows that. And then it shows the play field for like a millisecond. <laughs> Stop pressing. See, I can. There is definitely two players. I'm pressing my button and stop pressing, and I can fire. Yeah. And no. move, and you can fire and move, but we just can't see we anything. We just can't see anything. Yeah. So oh, that's a shame. try not, single player. Why don't you play? Not um, really great for uh, real hardware. No. <laughs> a lot of these programmers don't test on real hardware till the very last minute. Yeah. Um, which is unfortunate. Oh, I do have the manual. That's right. I did download the manual. So I will get you to read the manual while I play. You have it? Yeah. So let me load it up for you. See how far I can get. So it's left and right to, to go through okay. it. We have Thyra the Valkyrie, Merlin the Wizard, Quester the Elf, and Thor the Warrior. Nice art. Yes. That looks like it's taken from somewhere. <laughs> it could be. Show them the art. Yeah. There we oh. go. Oh, there we go. Excellent. So it's fine in single player. So there needs to be some changes made make sure that yeah, it doesn't definitely go not nuts. working in the two but the single player seems to work fine other than that pause between but it does come back up yeah yeah so it's not yet ready for prime time i don't think to be put on cartridge oh i'm getting trounced pardon my yawning sleepy no okay you gonna read some stuff out what do you want me to read uh everything everything <laughs> Uh, share the adventure. In 1985, Atari Games released Gauntlet, bringing multiplayer dungeon exploration to arcades across the nation. Designed by Ed Logg, whose credits included Asteroids and Centipede, Gauntlet quickly went on to become one of the most successful arcade games of all time, and was ported to a number of home computers and game systems. 
However, no version for the Atari 2600 VCS was ever produced. Nope. Instead, Even though it was in the right era. Yeah. Instead, Atari released a similar title, Dark Chambers, based on the game that inspired Gauntlet, John Palavich's Dandy, in 1983. To commemorate the 30th anniversary of Gauntlet's release, this port for the Atari 2600 has been developed based on Adam Clayton's Dark Chambers engine. Arena Foot says there's a newer version that hasn't been posted in the forums. Yes. Yeah. I did try and search for it. Um, there was only screenshots of the new version. He's never posted it. So, what just happened? Okay, this died? game is crazy. No, I had two lives left. And really? I just went into the exit. Oh, you know what happened? What? It was the next, the third level. There's enemies immediately, and they killed me. Oh, because it was blacked out. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get past that. But I made it to the third level. Did you see the third level? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll try it again. I, I believe. Yeah, I got mm, through three levels. Okay. Uh, it was blacked out, and then all of a sudden I was back at the Did title you get screen. the room with the blue blocks? No. Okay, yeah, no, I, I made it to the third level. Okay, I'm just going to shoot when I get to the... Get to the third level. Oh, look at that. What the hell? Everything disappeared off the screen. When you when you killed the uh, generator? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that's like the source of their power. Nope. Those guys continued on. So play alone or with a friend as any of four unique characters. Warrior, Valkyrie, Wizard, or Elf. Explore eight, 80 unique levels while shooting monsters and generators, collecting food and treasure, and dashing towards the exit. Collect potions for magic attacks and for power upgrades, and use keys to open locked doors. I'm just gonna fire randomly every time a level starts. There we go. <laughs> when you place your cartridge in your Atari 2600 and turn it on, you will see a title screen that shows the number of players, the character classes for each player, and the high score. Player two will not appear in one player games. Right. Uh, character classes, you can choose from any four characters to play Gauntlet. Each of the different characters starts with a special ability and can also acquire other special abilities during the game. Mm. So Thor the Warrior has an extra sh extra shot power. Thyra the Valkyrie, extra armor. I think you've been over this already. Merlin so the Wizard, extra mm. magic power. Go stuck in the wall. Quester the Elf, extra shot speed. So fight your way to the exit while collecting treasures and other items along your way. Shoot enemies for points, but avoid contact with them, which drains your health. Collect food to replenish your health. Keys to open doors. Yep. Ooh, what did I yep. Do? There is an open area with ghosts. Oh, no. So I, I just shot everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I started like here seconds. and it was okay, but maybe it was um, it Randomly. didn't take as long. Yeah. yeah. I died on this level because I got kind of caught. Food, yay! Food is good. This Me, one. Oh. The arcade, it's just a, a quarter eater because they... Oh, they just kill you. Yeah. You run out of health. You I just, mean, that's that's what I remember. You, you can't... I don't know if it's possible to finish the game in one quarter in, in the arcade. Your just, health just keeps going down and there's not enough food. Hmm. Um... Arena Foot's apologizing for the game. <laughs> that it's sorry that it's all doing doing all this. <laughs> it's a great game on Stella. Yeah, that's why you need people to test these games out. Developers like me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure game. it's great on Stella. You know, yeah, it's a fun it is, game to play yeah. on Stella. Sometimes ah, it doesn't always. Um... Can't do that door. There we go. But if they do, it if they want to put it on either. cartridge, they definitely need to do real-world testing. This isn't on the cartridge. Right. Um, well, it's the equivalent of loading a cartridge oh, okay. into your system. Okay. Yeah, but it on emulates the a cartridge. Card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. I'm just going to go for levels. Because <laughs> I, I find in Gauntlet, the longer you stick around a level, mm -hmm. the less health you have, just mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. You're never going to gain health by sticking around a level. You might get, if you kill more get generators, it. get a few more points, but that's about it, right? Yeah, points. Yeah. But mo I think this game is mostly about the levels. That's great character design like it it feels like i'm playing gauntlet like if this was released in the 80s it'd be like yep this is gauntlet yeah. oh wow they're even like getting in corners can they wonder if they can fight through the corners just like oh, uh, yeah like the um that was frustrating they could fire through the corners oh, yeah, and that stuff was bad. but none of the characters seem Cheating. to um Cheating. fire though yet they're all just kind of go after you that might have been too much 
for the well, original game. You might, and you might uh, still encounter something that fires at you. That's very true. There is no finish in the arcade version. It's infinite, if I remember correctly, Lord Munkus says. Yeah. I like playing the Genesis version nowadays. It's even better than the arcade. Yeah, there have been very good conversions of this game. Oh, I can see it on my screen over there first. I know, that's kind of nuts, isn't it? Yeah, because the TV's taking a little bit longer than the rest of the hardware. Exit quick! <laughs> Someone asked for a faster Dark Chambers and CDS games replied. He added that in his hack and linked it to the thread. A faster. This is definitely plays faster because I was playing the original mm -hmm. one. It's like s mm -hmm. sluggish. Ah, 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 and I'm dead. It was on there first. Okay, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was a little bit better, but do you think it's because cause it's showing up on the stream before it's showing on our TV? That's because the TV is just taking a little bit long to get video sync. Oh, okay. And just that doesn't take quite as, as long, long to yeah. get the video okay, sync up. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. 3410. Good job. I really wanted to play this with two players. It would have been fun to play with two players, yeah. but you know. So it's... hopefully he uh, starts it going again. And, maybe, yeah. And yeah, maybe he'll see this because I did post it in the, his thread so he can see that it doesn't it doesn't work. So just it's like Alt L and watch that number in the top left. It's uh, oh, that's sorry. that's the magic number. So the next game we're going to play is River Raid okay. Fantasy Mode. Fantasy mm. Mode. Now, I'm not going to load up the original River Raid because it's pretty much the same as this visually. Okay. But the gameplay is different? The gameplay is very different. No, no, you're unhappy with me picking you up. So, let me play oh, first. Oh, oh, Atari, it's our turn. So, it's titled River Raid 3. But this was modeled after... Mm a hand an ios game of river raid you know they port these games to phones yeah. and mm -hmm. on consoles and all over the place you know they try and squeeze out as much money as possible out of, of these old games mm -hmm. um oh thank you change the artwork in the corner yes 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 thank you very much This isn't the game I meant to play, but that's okay. River Raid 3? Yeah, I was going to play it last, but it's actually better if I play it now. Okay. So, um, yes, this was modeled after an iOS version of River Raid, um, but they made something, they made like a, an upgrade version of it called mm. Fantasy Mode, okay. which added a bunch of things in it. And um, somebody asked if that could be possible. Like they posted a video of the iOS game okay. into the Atari Age forums. They said, is this possible to hack the original River Raid and yeah. add these things in? And uh, who said, Nuki Shea said, yes, nice. I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> it will happen. Yeah. yeah, Computer Space Fan posted on October 1st, 2017. I just discovered this awesome version of River Raid on iTunes, which has a unique version called Fantasy Mode. I was wondering, can such a mod be done to the original River Raid ROM so this version is playable on the original hardware? It's tons of fun. Hmm. And Nuki, Nuki, and like people are going, oh, how, uh, I'm not a programmer. Okita says, I'm not a programmer, but I've seen enough VCS games to say, sure, why not? <laughs> and Nuki Shea says, yes, flicker the player's missile at 20 hertz. So this says, the original River Raid had one missile to fire at okay. a time you're shooting one at a time and the uh this version has m three shots at once going off like at an angle nice you know yeah, on I modern like shooters yeah. you get multiple shots yeah that was never in any atari game oh. multiple shots like that okay yeah. any um and i i've i have some games that i'd envisioned multiple shots mm. um it's a little easier doing horizontal shooters doing that um, because vertical shooters, you have to draw something three times on the same line. Mm. So you have to do some tricks. But he says, yes, flicker the player's missile at 20 hertz. If all three missiles are to disappear when any one of them has to hit something, such a hack wouldn't even require additional resources. Wow. Uh, there are a couple bytes of RAM unused in the original game. Let's go for it. 
So this is River Raid 3. Uh, he, he named it River Raid 3 because there was a River Raid 2. Okay. Which was, like I said in the intro, programmed by Gary Kitchen. Okay. Who's the brother of Dan Kitchen. Nice. Who's doing the new games. Nice. Anyway, it all ties back. Yeah, yeah. It all loops back in. Yeah. Um, so River Raid 3 and River Raid Fantasy Mode are two different games. Yeah, because River Raid Fantasy Mode is an iOS game, officially licensed. Okay. And this is River Raid 3, which is a hack of River Raid. Totally unlicensed, just made by somebody okay, for fun. Okay, so River Raid Fantasy Mode isn't the Atari game. That no, is the iOS it was, name. Okay. No, and I just named it River Raid Met Fantasy Mode, but it's... So maybe you have to reset it. There you go. What am I doing? Press the button. Oh, this is... There we go. Spray shot. This is what you... Oh. You're so loud. You're so loud. Sorry, everyone. There's no standards for volume control. <laughs> I have am, to keep turning it up and am down. Am I just on the blue? That's, uh, yes, do not, do not go into the green. Okay, things that are good to You can know. only fly over water. You need fuel. Don't shoot the fuel. Oh, Fly no. over the fuel. Just barely made it. You need more fuel. Okay. Oh, okay. You can that makes more sense. <laughs> you, can, you can speed up and slow down forward and back. Gotcha. But you need fuel. Okay. Those are the basics. Ah. Um, triple shot feature added to gameplay, just like River Raid on iTunes, has a feature called Fantasy Mode. Newest version has an in-game pause function. Oh, that was very close. No, I didn't. I think I hit him. <laughs> oh, no, you die instantly. Oh, really? Yeah. There is no... There's no oh, mercy yeah, in this to, game. I can move forward and back, can I? And random selection colors given to game selections 9 through 16. And you get... You press the button, but there's a, uh, a summary at the end of the game. Like, you're pressing the button instantly, but just leave it up next time. I can't so move can forward see. and back. Can I? No, you speed up and slow down. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay. No, don't press the button. Yes. Time 110, level 3, bridge 2, jets 1, fuels 14. What? This is, is how like many a... things I've gotten along the way. Is that like total total? Yeah, it keeps going up. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Shoot the buildings on the land too. Pull the back to the joystick to slow down. After each death, it lists everything you shot. Oh, do you have multiple lives? That's why it's more. Okay. That makes sense. That's why it's adding it up. Because I was like, you haven't gotten that many things. Maybe you can fly over the green. Right? No, I don't no. think so. Yes, totals. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, you can shoot onto the land. But you can't fly onto the land. So fuel it... F Right into it. You can't... I haven't quite figured out the speeding up and slowing down. It's a little it, tricky because you're because not you actually moving. you don't feel moving. like you're moving, so it does make it a bit strange. Yeah, because you're you're not moving on the screen. The screen is scrolling faster and slower. So it's not like modern games. It just... It, it makes it a lot easier for the programmers just to speed things up or slow things down. But yeah, spread shot was never in any game that I can think of. Because it's, it's you know, a little bit challenging. Well, obviously not too challenging, but they just never thought of it, that you would need more than one bullet. I think that came with more modern shooters, where you'd get power-ups. And those didn't come till a little bit later on. Shoot the buildings on land. Oh, Ground Trooper just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, ah. Ground Trooper. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you must like your, your plane. <laughs> I don't You're think You're doing a great <laughs> job. You convinced I... him. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, my turn. You give you press reset. <laughs> reset? Yep. I think you've probably played this more than I have. I haven't played it since the 80s. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> or 90s, I guess. Maybe I should get some fuel instead of shooting all of them. Mm -hmm. So if you slow down while you're over the fuel, 
it gives you a bit more time. Gotcha. And if you want to avoid something, you just speed up, right? But with the triple yeah, shot, it makes it quite... so much easier. Yeah. So just imagine this with only one. You have to speed up to avoid that plane. Imagine this with only one shot. Did you get points for shooting the fuel? <laughs> I think he, well, it does it does uh, note how much fuel you shot, so you must oh. get something for it. But obviously, sometimes you want it. Yeah. Oh, oh, there. there's a lot of fuel. Oh yes, you do. Uh, Rena Foot says you get. Uh, uh, oh, you do get points for shooting the fuel. I guess it's something. fuel very quickly. Oh. oh! I probably wouldn't have got much anyway. It's hard. It oh, it starts you where you were. Yes, it does. Yeah. So this isn't a random game. This is like planned out. Like the route. Damn it. Oh yeah, very much so. Because it's the same exact route that I just... Huh, that's interesting. Oh, there's some stuff on land I killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are hitting houses if you're close enough. Apparently, oh. oh! Apparently, everything's an enemy. I'll go this way. So you can't touch the green. No. That makes this area very tricky. So it's better to go really slow. Oh, there's some good fuel. I think I'll shoot the last one. <laughs> Whoa, that's tough. Yeah, you definitely have to go slow. This makes it a very different game with three shots. They increase the difficulty as well. Watch out for the fuels. Because this would be super difficult. Oh, that was a very clear area. All that fuel, was definitely the no enemies, but probably not yeah. as many points. No, but that's okay. I like surviving a lot of times rather than points. Because this is like a route that is non-repeating? Maybe Does, there's no, it levels. Doesn't, it doesn't appear to repeat. What if there's like a, an end to like a... Ah, oh, I couldn't get over there. Not bad. No, 12, 6, you 60. did very well. <laughs> oh, Carcass, thank you for subscribing yeah. on Twitch Prime. Today I learned Twitch Prime is a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a thing, and it costs you nothing at all. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're already a member, yeah. Yeah, if, if you're already subscribed to Amazon. Sorry. Oh, let's check out different levels. Oh! Two-player spread shot. Oh, two-player? We can both missile. play? Two-player fast missile. Two-player fast missile spread shot. What's fast missile versus... Let's try that. I don't know. Let's see. Go for it. Oh, it's really fast. Um... Go to game option nine. Okay, we'll do that after this game. Hold it down. No? You have to press it? What? Hold it down. Hold down what? Oh! Oh, oh, oh I like other, this. The other one might have been like, you could only, you had to press it. This might it might be like, you don't have to press it. Auto fire. They should have called it auto fire, but it is also faster too. Okay, we'll go to game option 9 after this one. It changes the colors in the game. What? Oh, you need fuel. You're shooting too many of them. There you go. Still need fuel. Though. Oh, um, my, yes. Some channels with, like, I don't know, 1,000 people watching or 5,000 people watching, they use Twitch Prime, like, subscri subscribers to limit the chat because it'd be like you'd be scrolling like crazy to only the subscribers can talk oh is it your turn? turn on the block do i get to play on the second oh i do nice this is awesome this is awesome <laughs> it's like almost a modern shooter if you took away the sides like the land mm. and changed the blue to black and obviously changed the airplane color uh, you from could black? Make, from yeah. black. You would make this into a space shooter. Yeah, true. Oh, that's my dream. Space shooter? To have like an awesome 
um, scrolling space shooter. And use, like, um... I need fuel. Ah! Stop firing! Ah! That's the problem with the super rapid fire. Um, and using, like, the draconian, um, engine, game engine, um, because it has awesome sprite handling, Ugh. you could make a really amazing space shooter with this spread shot. Like, like, uh, vertical scrolling space shooter. Obviously, draconian is, like, eight-way scrolling everywhere kind of shooter. Which is a different type, but uh, yeah, that that is that is the game I'm waiting for. Somebody to make something like that. That's coming soon, James. Says Arena, <laughs> Arena Foot. Hmm. You know something I don't know. Yeah, that that's that's going to be amazing. Because all the pieces are in place, it's all very very possible now. And have power-ups and just just load it up with all the modern shooter type stuff. You shut up fuel. <laughs> it's too easy to shoot fuel almost in this. Whoa! Oh, we're, all, we're at the same level, I think. Yeah, it's it's I, hard to get past this level, and it's pretty narrow in places. Yeah. You have to kind of memorize your route. Starting us from the beginning each time because we're so bad. I yeah. think it is. No, no, not the very beginning. No? No, 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 no. It's not from the very beginning. Replen Can you read that? Oh, my turn. Your turn anyway. Repentless, the video game sold by Repentless VG, hacked by Scott Dayton's, removed the sides and made it a black background. Oh, well, that was short. Oh, so literally what I was saying, somebody made. <laughs> like, literally. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, I may be interested in that. Has anything been released um, about it yet? Like screenshots or gameplay or if it's available soon. Are we done? Okay, we're going to go to level turbo speed. Oh my god. Okay, random colors. So let's do that turbo speed. One. Random colors. Oh, fast, fast missile. missile. Two player, spread shot, two player. There we go. Game 16. I don't know what the random color. So far it looks. Oh, turbo oh speed my is, goodness. Not, is not what we want. We don't want turbo speed. Well, we can, but. <laughs> it's gonna make the game. Oh, oh, it changes. The grass changes to blue. Yeah, that's not that's not confusing at all. <laughs> that just makes it terribly that's cool. difficult. It's no, cool. That's kind of cool. Did it change the? Did oh, it ch so fast. Did it change the, the water color too? No. Uh, or is it just the grass color? The grass has changed color. Ugh! Didn't make it to the next color. Oh my. Coming soon. Yes, screenshots. <laughs> That is pro that's the fastest <laughs> death you could have. Ah, uh, it's the blue. It really makes it hard to see. That is so funny. Ah. Uh, <laughs> pull back on it. It automatically speeds you up, though. It feels... Oh, my God. <laughs> no, this is like turbo speed. It, 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 push, it makes you go faster. If you don't hold down on the, on the down button, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it is a challenge. It's it's insane. So if if you've masked oh that's a nice color. Brown. It's fall. <laughs> it's changed from spring to fall. I wonder if it goes white. Ooh. Actually it's random color, so well, that's kinda gray, kinda. Oh, ah! Shoot the fuel. There you go. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's autumn. Yeah. All the trees are it's actually that not bad. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good job. It's pretty fun though, because you're just flying through those levels. Yeah, this is this it's like is avoid, avoid. <laughs> crazy. It's more less strategic and just like avoid everything. Well, it's like a real bullet hell shooter in a way. Like yeah. not bullet hell because nothing's firing nothing's... back at you, but, but yeah, the, it has the... that feeling of just like being completely out of control and just avoiding things. It's <sighs> <That was> close. <laughs> 
Ah. Uh. Insane. R R R R. Oh Ooh. oh, river raid. Oh, I beat you this turn. Oh, you did. That's not allowed. <laughs> oh, did no no, seventy fifty. Oh no, you beat me by <sighs> sixty by points. By like one thing. I shot one extra thing. Oh. <laughs> I made it up for it in that last. Yeah. Push, that last round. That that is a very cool hack. See that changes the game. Mm -hmm. That's the level of hacks mm -hmm. I'm looking for. That that makes it really really interesting. Mm -hmm. It adds it another level to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially options, more options mm. to it, like the changing colors. That's super cool. River raid. Uh, yeah. Our... Really fun. Um, so the last one, we're going to show the original first. Uh, it is a hack of venture, and it is uh, Wolfenstein. VCS. Um, but let's take a look at Venture first. And this was an arcade game and ported to all the different systems. Um, and it's kind of cool. Like you're, you have an overview world. You're the little dot. There's some baddies all over the place. And then you go in these rooms to get treasure. You get the treasure. And you have to shoot those guys. And like a lot of games of that era, if you take too long, well, I should have stayed longer. If you take too long in a room, oh, switch the picture. Yes, thank you. There we go. Even though that's not venture, but if you take too long in a room, not this room, because I think it gives you more time. There are no baddies in this room. Yeah, they they give you time. There's a guy. Oh nope. There's a guy who comes and destroys you. <laughs> anyway, that's the basic game. There's not much more to it there. Okay. So hold down the button. Nope, go down to 29th. And this is... Somebody wanted to make Wolfenstein. And if you've ever played the original Wolfenstein, not 3D... I played Wolfenstein The original Wolfenstein. 3D. So I don't think I played the original. It is isn't a top down view okay it was not 3d the original one so this one's called wolfenstein vcs yep go into it the next mission uh made 2006 by scott dayton who made the first game bouncer where's the cartridge bouncer so we, i thought i'd bookend it nice so beautiful opening screen of wolfenstein castle wolfenstein and you do, unfortunately, you have to press the reset. Gotcha. I think that was, this was made or hacked. A lot of the old games you had to press. What you am got, I doing? You got stuck on a wall and you kept bouncing off of it. You're the dot. Yeah. You have to go into the rooms. Go down. Nope. Nope. Not there. Left. Nope. Go up. Yeah. Through those little openings. There you go. There's the dogs from Wolfenstein. There you go. And get the id card and the original game of wolfenstein was made by id software there you go and either get the dog or get out but you only need to get out i would yeah you have to avoid those guards that are patrolling around um arena foot says i've never played the title but it won a hack award in 2004. so this did win an award kind of bounce off the walls yeah you get stuck on the walls um it's the height it's the height of world war ii germany has conquered most of europe and britain is suffering under constant siege by air the dark shadow of fascism looms heavy over the free people of the world you are sergeant Koz Ko kowalski kowalski that's hard to say kowalski of the Polish Special Forces, captured as part of a resistance cell. Was that the original name of the guy in uh, Wolfenstein? I think it is. Uh, you're part of a resistance cell opposing the German and Russian occupation of Poland. You're transported to the dreaded castle Wolfenstein, just over the border in Germany, for interrogation and execution. Or possibly worse. Escape is your first priority. But as a member of the resistance, you won't pass up this opportunity to hurt the German war machine and avenge the people of Poland. Return to the halls of dreaded Wolfenstein. 
All new enemies, rooms, and floor plans await you in this upgraded version of the original Wolfenstein VCS. And this was actually released on cartridge as well. And this is actually a sequel, a hack sequel. There was one made before this. Arena Foot says walls are sticky. You can bounce <laughs> off them too. Yeah. Uh, oh, he got me. <laughs> Uh, there are four level layouts that repeat, repeat twice to make eight levels rather than two layouts that repeat four times. Updated some of the colors to make them brighter. The patrolling guards have four starting positions now. In the original, they only had two starting positions. This is improvements from the original <sighs> Wolfenstein VCS. Um, so these are upgrades from his own hack to this new hack. Uh, picking up the gun or ammo gives you exactly eight bullets total, so the player can never have more than eight bullets on hand. This ups the difficulty at a pinch. Eight bullets is also the number of bullets in a German Luger pistol, and the max number shown by the ammo bar, so I think it works well. Uh, fixed a bug in the original for randomizing room content that made ammo show up either too often or not enough. The secret level is easier to find. Uh, updated two zoomed room layouts. Uh, one is a minor change. Oh, you finally get the gun. You'll have longer range um, shots. Uh, updated two zoomed room layouts. One is a minor change. The other is a compute complete overhaul. All enemies are animated with two frames. Ch changed. Oh, you're on level two. Uh, changed some of the enemies to creatures, so it's not just room after room of guards. So there we go. Some bats on this level. And a uh, backward. That's not a swastika. That's a backward one. Is that's it? the original symbol. That's the religious symbol. I thought it didn't. I thought the original one was a, was a religious one. It was. Yeah, that's the that's the one they showed. Um, the, the Nazi one went one forward. Way. Oh, okay. <laughs> forward. Um. So, read mm -hmm. from there. Wolfenstein VCS, the next mission. All right. Vol Wolfenstein v VCS, the next mission, features a brand new full-color eight-page manual created, uh, created oh my God. by Dave Dries. I don't uh, know. Dries, who is also responsible for the beautiful label. It includes cartridge and full-color manual. A uh, note from Scott Dayton in the Atari Age forums, you haven't truly beaten the game until you discover the secret floor with four new rooms. Ugh. Ponder, you must beat the normal game to find it, but don't reset. I think that is the most obvious clue ever posted to find the secret floor. <laughs> so you have to beat the whole game, yeah, and all eight levels, and then not reset the game, and then find the secret level. That is, but mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. But it looked like a chainsaw or it something. It looked like an oh, execution chair. Oh, yeah, that might be it. Those things are difficult. There's so many of them. Ah! That was close. Just made it. It's your knife. Haha. -ha. No, that's a gun. No, you have a knife. Oh, now I have, have a, a knife. It has uh, a very short range. Or maybe it's not a knife. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Wolfenstein. He starts with a knife. Yes, I am pretty At sure. At least as my well. memory of Wolfen Wolfenstein 3D. Have I done that? Yes, I have. Ooh, which one haven't I done? Oh, the way is clear. No. I just realized they're like blobs with guns on them. Yep. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> he was Did they go fast. after you? I don't think so. Or but they just their random speed and it is... seemed to go after me. I think I went in this one. Yeah, so it's only the top. Their speed is very fast. So you just have to exit out, right? To get... Yeah, you don't have to kill them. I'm sure you get points if you do. There we go. Press button? No? Wait, okay. Ah! Oh, new level. So there's eight levels of this. Mm -hmm. So you only get eight bullets. That's one room cleared. You really have to stay away from those guys, like really yeah. far. Yeah. Because they are—they don't stop. 
They just keep moving. Uh, yeah. Thought I'd make it, but I did not. <laughs> ah! That's not a good starting spot. There we go. Nice and clear. Ooh, what are those? More dogs? Cats? <laughs> kind of cat looking. The other ones definitely look like dogs. Those look like cats. Don't you think? A little bit. They, their mouths went meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 Oh, God. <laughs> I just sat there. I knew I would die. Smoosh. Smoosh. I think I've got one more guy. Ooh, Ooh smoosh. Uh, why? No! Oh, there's so many guards. There's not that many in the original. Oh! oh. <laughs> nice, I like it. cat! <laughs> Me? Yep. Okay. Play one more game each. Okay. Oh. Oh, reset. Actually, there may be... Let's see if there's other... Oh, no. There's no other options. It's just the game. The game is the game. Some things just don't have options. Oh, is that health? Oh, it is health. Oh, you just got an extra life. Stay away from them. Get too close. I know, but I have to get out. <laughs> Scaring me. Uh, the yelling. We live in a very active neighborhood. Yes, we do. <laughs> Where there's lots of people talking loudly on the street. That's okay. It adds to it. Oh, you're so close to the Scaring me. You have to get close. What are you doing? You have to kill them? You can exit. Oh, you're I being mean. I want to kill them. Mean to the puppies. I get points, don't I? So mean. Uh, yeah. Ugh. An arena foot is keeping track of scores, so you have to beat 108 if. Oh, one. Oh, you did better than me. 147? Yep. So you have to beat your own score of 147. I got 108. I think because I didn't kill as many things. Well, yeah, I mean, it's nice when you have something where you have the option of flying through the level. That's true. Yeah, if you're going... But this does have levels. It's not a straight... Straight shooting game. No! Ooh, oh! That was like a pixel off. Oh, oh God. I'm not good at uh, aiming. <laughs> not Ooh. good at aiming at all. What if that says batteries? Oh, it's already destroyed. What? Is it? Yeah, the plastic's cracked in the shipping or something. That's okay. I don't usually need keep boxes because otherwise we would have to move out of the house and the games would take over the house. Oh, Ran right into them. Good job. Well, I hit the button, <laughs> but I think my my other bullet was still in the air. So. Oh, yeah. These things happen. That is a thing with Atari. You get one bullet. Usually in games, you get one bullet and one bullet only until you get that bullet hits something or it disappears. Let's take a look at my Galaga machine. Is batteries in it? Probably not. No. No batteries. Oh, you can plug it in. Oh, that's cool. Bouncing off the walls. Too excited. Bouncing off the walls. All right. Oh, no, I still have one more go. I thought I was dead. It's a very power hungry game. It's four double A's. Oh, no. Oh, 114. Well, you beat my score from last time. Yeah. But you didn't beat your score from the first time. No, I did better the first time. <laughs> Four, four. Yeah, four double A's. Well, better than four D cells, which. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, some of those um, old games took four D cells. Oh yeah, they were crazy. Made them super heavy. Oh, that's nice. Little screen. You can put this up when. <laughs> no. Oh no, it's not translucent. There's no. Uh, back a bit. Uh, no, it's too close. Can't focus that close. Glico table talks took four D's or C's. Anyway, some of them take C's. Some of them take D's. Okay, my aim is to beat 147. If we're going for points, which might as well go for, eh? Hey? Actually, what happens if you go out and 
back in. Well, then you're just mining for points. Well, you can if you... <laughs> because you could kill... Can. Not get the item. Go yeah. out. Go back in. Keep killing everything. Absolutely. So, I won't do that. I'm going for levels in. Well, I'm sure you get a lot of points for each thing. Oh, for levels? For completing a level? Yeah. Oh, for those items? Those items, yeah. Uh, no. I'm only up to 30 points. And I've gotten two of them. So you get hardly any points. Actually, the scores aren't very high in this game. No. Where's the black and white cat? Up to no good. When your children or animals disappear for too long. It's always worrying. Oh, I've got a gun. Did I get a gun? I better get out of there here before the bad guy shows up. Does he always show up in the top right? Or top left, I mean? Okay, one more to go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh! Ooh, so close. But I got an extra life, so that's good. Okay. I swear those guys come right after you. Or they have patrols, actually. Maybe they have patrols that just kind of look like they're after you. Find the cat? Carrying down the cat? Yeah. Oh, oh. Not exactly say. He's, He's a willing participant, but... Never is. Come here. Come say hello. Hello. Oh, he's giving me some eyes. I don't know <laughs> if they're good eyes or like rescue me eyes. Oh, he's no. like, no, nah, I didn't really want to be here. I don't know why you brought me here. I just want you to say hello. Say hello, Pixel. Meow. Meow. Hello. Okay, two now more in this level. Alone. Yes. <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, uh, uh. How are you taking, doing? Ooh, he's, he's taking his vengeance levels. out on the other cat. Now. Yeah. It's like, ugh. It's like spaceships? No, like drones? Like uh, robots? They look like robots. Uh, 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 ah! That was a bad spot to start in. And the cats. I'm going to use up all my bullets. I think you Go. I think this is the last room on this level. Yep. Did Good it. Job. Did it. Level four. Oh, trouncing your score, I think. Oh, I think you are. Da, da, da. Oh, the cats again. There we go. Uh, 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 sticky walls. Guards seem more spread out in this one, which is good. Oh, spiders. I remember those from the original game. I swear there's spiders in Venture. Or something that looked kind of like that. So this is a really good upgrade from... Ah! From Venture. Because it changes just enough that it's like kind of a new game. It's good you can't get hurt by the remnants of the... Oh Once you've killed it, yeah. Are you safe in here? Yeah, you are. Good, because that would be terrible if you exit out and you're... You're immediately dead. Immediately dead. So you get a little bit of a safe area. There we go. Last one. Ah. 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 Oh, I thought it... Oh, where'd that other one go? He went out. He left? Yeah. He's like, ah, He's no, had enough no. of this. I'm not... Uh, I'm not sticking around here. Okay, level six? Six? I've lost count now. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Ah! This is unfair. Ah! <laughs> Get in there! <sighs> oh, they move a lot faster. Ooh. Zombies? They're green. Maybe aliens. it's just green uniforms. Could be. I mean, they had uh, aliens in... Uh, Wolfenstein 3D? No. In um, Raiders of the Lost Ark Part oh, 4. Oh, true. <laughs> Part 4. <Ugh. laughs> so, why not put them in uh, this Jeez. game? Ugh, wasting my bullets. 
get the thing and get out. Get out. Ugh. Okay, stay safe. Okay, I gotta go up this way. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, what? Start you off in the middle here mm -hmm. again? Mm -hmm. Not in the same room? Oh. No, we start out in the middle. I think they're moving faster, so that's good. No, I think they're the same. They are challenging. If you bounce off a wall, you're screwed. Yeah, so you have to line you yourself up first. You have to line yourself first. up perfectly straight. Straight across. Nope. <laughs> Not straight across. I might have made it, but I didn't want to take the risk. No, I think you were kind oh, of close. The robots again. The robots. But it's a pretty open room, so it's not too bad. Get the key. Should have shot him. You had yes. a nice straight shot to him. I didn't think they were that fast. No, they're moving oh, a lot faster now. Oh, I have to do it again. Now. Hmm? I have to do the room again because I didn't make it out with yeah. the key. So getting the key is not enough. No, no, I've had that happen. Where ah. I've, yeah. yeah, you do have to get out with it. Jeez, you guys, get out of here. Uh, taking too long. That guy's going to come. Evil Auto. I think his name is in the original game. I think I'm on the last level. I don't know. I haven't been counting. Well, I think there was a W in the uh, in the floor plan of the last overview. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. I can't rely on just ah. Oof! That was close. They do move. They are moving a lot faster now. Oh. Still have two lives. Yeah, no, that's good. Pixel the other cat. <laughs> yes. Cat number two. Ah. Ah. What? It's your throwing knives. Oh no, I've lost. I'm out of bullets. Oh. If you keep shooting, if you keep shooting that, it doesn't ever disappear. Oh god. Oh god. Evil auto. Oh I knew no. Knew it. I tried to get him. I'm gonna lose. Oh. oh. That was a good run though. That you did. You did really well. Four thirty-four. Yeah. Good job. Not bad. I think that was the last level. But it can't be certain. You're it pretty either high set, up there, but I didn't count. Either level seven or we'll eight. We'll have to go through and, and count the, the screen. <laughs> yes. Scroll. <laughs> go back. Luckily, it's really One, easy two, to do. Because yeah. it's all different colors. Yeah, true. Oh, so. Interesting bunch of hacks. Yes. Uh, so I'm really glad I did that show. I was really hesitant to do a hack show. Mm. I uh, especially liked River Raid. Did you? I thought that was a lot of fun. That was. It was the speed. When you hit that turbo speed and you're going really fast, it feels... I, I mean, a, lot, a fair number of Atari games feel a little slow, and it just feels like yes. you're flying through. So it, it, it was really fun. Has that it, modern it, speed it to did, it? It does have a modern speed, yeah. I, I thought it was really well done. Was that your favorite game? Um, I I did like the kind of uh, what was it? Bouncer, bouncer, bouncer. The first bouncer. one. Bouncer. I enjoyed bouncer. I like the gameplay. It was of that like one. yeah, and it was Simplistic. like Hubert without falling off the edge, which makes me very happy because <laughs> yes. I did not enjoy that aspect Hubert's. of Hubert. Yeah, um, that's a frustrating aspect. Uh, of and I I like Grump Frog. So um, oh. uh, Grump so Frog. so I think I do, but I do think oh, so of the games we played, I think I River Raid was one of the best. Oh, wow, that's surprising. I never thought a shooter would be your favorite it had a nice flow and and yeah. it felt challenging and fast so i i really like that yeah what about you um i think if gauntlet two player was working that would have been higher up on our list because we could play it cooperatively which is very few games you can play cooperatively mm. um yeah that would have been fun to play the two of us yeah i think i liked bouncer just because it, I don't know, it just appeals to the old school gamer in me. Yeah. The simplicity of it. It is, it is, yeah. But I do want to give it another try with um, my proper arcade stick. This one. Because this is made for it. Yeah, a lot better. for that type of game, yeah. 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 Um, is this not working not. right now? It, it slightly sticks to the left. 
and oh. I need to open it up and, and give I just, it a clean. Yeah. I haven't had time. Been super, super busy mm. um, with other projects. Um, but yeah, so I'll revisit Bouncer, I think, in another episode. Cool. And use that joystick and see uh, how well I do. Mm -hmm. See if I can do better. Um, but all of them were really worthy of yeah. having on the show mm -hmm. because they really uh, changed the gameplay they from add the original. They something to it. Yeah. added quite a bit, not just graphics, but um, just the way it was was played. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, th those are all, all really, really fun. So what was the game Wolfenstein was based off of? Um, Venture. Venture. Which okay. was an arcade game. Okay. And, I mean, we saw it briefly. You still go into rooms, and the graphics were just changed, and the layout of the levels are changed. Okay. Uh, so a lot was changed. It's more than graph. All these are more than just graphical hacks. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't know if Bouncer is much more than a graphical hack. Um, I don't know if gameplay changed. It changed a bit. A little bit? A tiny yeah. bit in terms of what you saw on the screen. Mm. Like but it's a fairly levels. simple simple game for the yeah. most part. Anyway. I don't know what you would change anyway yeah. to yeah. it. So it didn't need much changing. And it's also nice to have that game on a cartridge where the original one's like $200 US. The original game. Mm. It's like one of the most expensive 2600 games. Mm. Like there's ones that are way more expensive. There's ones that only have one copy in the whole world. Well, yeah, of course. but Yeah, 2600 is impossible to complete a completed you know, collection of it. Unless you're going for, like, everything from Activision or something. Then you can complete that. Yeah, yeah. But it was so a, many games it was a wide yeah. open market Yeah. for games back then. Yeah. Anybody could make them. Yeah. Um, so, lots of fun. Uh, if people want to suggest more hacks at this kind of level where they're, like, more than graphical well, stuff and, and something a substantial change change to the gameplay yeah, yeah gameplay level design graphics sound like something that elevates it quite a bit above the original mm -hmm. i will do a second uh hack special um so just contact me on social media or through atari age and just send them over to me and i'll start collecting them up and putting them in my list on my ongoing little list here um so the next show that is coming up is on Friday mm -hmm. and it's the last day of the year, last day of the month. It's the 31st. Okay. So it's the last day to put our scores into Star Castle Arcade. Okay. So this month's tournament, homebrew yes. tournament game. Okay. Um, many people have knocked me down the list since <laughs> I played it mid month. Yeah. Um, I suggested before the stream that I go into a uh, work in progress. Oh, okay. Yeah, just suggest them anywhere you want. Um, I think I saw your ones, I suppose, to, um, in Twitch. Um, so we're going to play Star Castle Arcade on Friday. Okay. And then we have next Friday, if nothing bumps it, because I think I bumped today's for this, because this came in the mail. We're going to play some work in progress games, really neat ones. We're called Robot Zed. Shifty Lifty, Escape from Cuckoo Temple, Cuckoo Coo Temple, <laughs> Asteroid Rescue, and uh, another one possibly. And we on Wednesday we might play 100% Blinky Goes Up. Try and get it to the end. Remember okay. that game? Yep, yep, yep. You're hopping around. Yep. yep, it's right up there. Yep, that's a good game. Yep, I, I enjoyed that game. Um, I feel I need to practice that one. Um, oh, and then on the twelfth. Starts the next, is round four of Homebrew Tournament, which is Ladybug. Lots of fun. Mm -hmm. And then more games and more games and more games. <laughs> lots of lots of stuff planned. So I've got it I've got it all in the Atari Age forums. If you want to look, just search for Zero Page Homebrew. Mm -hmm. My list will come up of games that is coming up and links to all the past videos on YouTube. And also make sure you subscribe to YouTube because I don't just do streams. Sometimes when I have enough time, I will actually put together a video that's edited. Um, and I'm planning to do some reviews coming up mm -hmm. when I have some free time. It may not be for a bit. Yeah. Because I have another YouTube's channel that I have to do some video editing for. That's right. That hasn't even launched yet. <laughs> and I really do need to put those shows together. 
uh, before they get too dated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> before it's too late to eat hamburgers. Right? Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's about it for this week. Thanks for tuning in everybody that tuned in and a lot of chatting going on in the in the chats oh tiki dank puts in the last word there <laughs> thanks james great show thanks tanya well thank awesome. you for thank tuning you for in joining. tiki dank yeah, we had a, had had a, a lot good of time. fun yeah um and fun. arena foot ice bosta ground trooper atari spot lord monkus carcass and thank you to ground trooper and carcass for subscribing yes that's yeah, awesome. it's so many people subscribing now. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Uh, who else is in here? Mr. Fix. Um, We're scrolling through fast. Scrolling yeah. through fast. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, a tasty sandwich. Tasty sandwich. That's there we awesome. Go. And I'm at the top of the. So much talking, I can't even go to the top. Yeah. There you so go. sorry if I missed anybody who. Oh, Jared Gray West. Yes. There, everybody's piping Woo. up now <laughs> after just watching in the background. Yeah. Um, yes, thank you so much for tuning in. To all the lurkers who don't type, uh, we uh, love you too yep. for tuning in. Um, even if you don't type, you don't have to type. No. <laughs> I don't have things to say all the time. Um, so we'll see you next in two days, yep. actually. In Friday. In, Friday, 7 o'clock, same exact time. Yes, seven, in, late in the evening. Yeah. In the evening, just like this. So yeah. 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. And um, so we'll see you then. Yeah. And I'll post this show tomorrow night for everybody on YouTube that is waiting for it, that don't want, that is not able to watch it live. Yeah. So make sure you subscribe there to be updated if you're not able to wa catch our shows all the time. That's right. You can see it in repeats. So that's it for us. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Awesome. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs>